Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. You may be wondering why I'm in the start of a run. It's because I installed Da Rules mod and I did that for a specific reason. I'm going to show you now. Basically, I took some... Uh, I found out recently that you can use Da Rules to um, essentially change how certain things spawn and stop things from spawning. So I removed Golden Champion Belt for a, a random item from that pool. Fierce Mask and the tarot card, uh, sorry, the scratch cards, mainly because, so scratch cards cause a crash currently and it's not been fixed yet, so I want to make sure that's fixed for me. Uh, Fierce Mask and Golden Champion Belt are just two items that are currently in the shop pool that I think are obscenely overpowered, um, and they kind of ruin the balance of the game for me at the minute, so for now, I'm just going to remove them. Um, and I'll probably end up doing it with a few more items or things here and there. Uh, another one I wanted to do it with is the foiled, um, ooh, the sprinkler. Should we take the sprinkler? Yeah, why not? Um, the foiled cards was another one that I was maybe thinking of doing it with as well. Not all of them, but there is a few of the foiled cards that are, again, obscenely powerful. Um, and then there's a few things from the Repentance Plus pack that... I might want to tweak as well, like the glitched hearts and stuff. So I'll see how that goes. I might end up changing that. I might not. At the minute, I'm thinking it's okay, but I've, I've still got to see yet. But the past few times, I've found those glitched hearts. They've been very, very, very strong. So they're kind of on my list. And if they end up being a bit too overpowered, I will remove slash replace them with something else. Uh, but yeah, I only just found out that the rules can actually do this for you. Okay, I'm definitely getting hit here. But I've only just found out that the rules can do this for you um, over the over the, my Christmas break. I actually just came back from my Christmas break. This is the first time I'm recording after it. All the videos you've seen prior to this were backlogged beforehand. Um... But yes, uh, I found out about it during my Christmas break, and I was like, oh my god, I thought the rules was like just for making silly challenges and stuff. But no, apparently it's very useful for um, for fixing broken things in mods. <laughs> things that cause crashes that haven't been fixed yet and stuff like that. I know for a fact that the, that the scratch card crash and stuff like that will be fixed soon, and Ipecac will be getting some balance changes. But at the minute, it's not been changed for me, and I I keep finding scratch cards, and it's kind of bad because it's replacing regular cards and obviously that's not good <laughs> so i've uh i've, I've for, the, for the for the short time at least removed them from the game but yeah i had a i had a great christmas break i hope all you did as well i know for a lot of you oh we got tropic come here I, I know for a lot of you it was probably a little while ago now um probably like last week maybe the week before i've not got a huge backlog at the minute i've got a little backlog but not a huge backlog um but yes, uh, I, had a, I had a fantastic Christmas break. I got some good presents. Um, a while back, my mum had bought me and my girlfriend an air fryer. And you may be thinking, well, that's a really boring adult present. And it kind of is. But at the same time, I really enjoy cooking. So I, I, I did really want one. <laughs> um, and then my girlfriend got me a really, really nice cast iron skillet as well. Again, might sound like a boring present to some, but I absolutely love cooking. So for me, it's a very, very good present. Um, and yeah, I got a good a bunch of other little bits and bobs here and there, but very, very happy. Considering I'm 24, and at this point, I don't really, I don't really expect my parents to get me any big presents, because, you know what, I'm an adult now, and I don't live in their house, um, I was still pleasantly surprised, but yeah, I was, I was lucky to be able to go home for Christmas as well, like, obviously, COVID was, I don't know about everyone else, I don't even know what it's like in America at the minute, but in the UK, at least, COVID is absolutely rampant. And where I live, it's the second highest COVID rates. Second highest COVID rates, only below London. So, yeah, um, it's a little bit touch and go, and I've had I've had two, two COVID scares already where I've um, thought that I might have it. Uh, I had to go and get a PCR test recently before I went home. We managed to gulp Child's heart there. That's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so it was a, it was a little... Um... Ooh, that's nice. Get to go, get out of here for free. A um, little annoying to have to do that, but luckily I was able to go home. Unfortunately, I did actually get a bit ill while I was home. Um, I ended up... Um... I ended up, ooh, yes, Play-Doh cookie, hell yeah. Um, I ended up getting a pretty bad cough, which obviously everyone I came across thought was COVID. It was not. I, I made sure of that, but yeah, uh, not not the best thing to get during a, during a pandemic, a really bad cough, but I've had to deal with that. I think it's mostly gone now, so you shouldn't hopefully hear me coughing in the video, but I sh even if I do, I'm going to try and uh, 
mute myself when I do so you guys don't have to hear my horrendous coughs, because it is pretty bad, or at least it has to be pretty bad. Uh, so we'll see. God damn, this guy managed to get quite far away. Um... But yes, uh, I'm I'm just really happy to be back and playing some. Um, as much as I love to see my, my seeing my family, um, I'm really happy to be back and playing some Isaac again. I don't know how I got hit though; it was kind of dumb. Um, I did manage to lose my. Uh, <laughs> I did manage to actually lose my Devil Deal there. That was uh, Muchio, so very dumb. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack key right up here. I think it's the best possible place. Um, let's go. Ah, damn it. Unfortunately, I thought this might have been it, but it's not. That's okay, though. Right, let's keep going. Um, yeah, I've actually installed quite a few mods um, since the last time. Of course, there's been mod updates, but I've actually installed, I think... Oh, my God. Is it three or four new... I think it's I think it's three new room mods um, that seem pretty cool. Uh, one's cut by Cross Sterny, and another one's just called, like, Some More Rooms or something like that. Both of them had quite a lot of new rooms. Both of them seem fairly balanced. I'm pretty picky about my room mods, because uh, um, a lot of them can be a little unbalanced. But these, these ones look pretty good, so we should see quite a lot of new rooms here and there, which is always exciting. I think um, there's literally, as long as they're balanced, there is never, ever, um, like, s such thing as too many uh, room mods. You just got to keep adding them and adding them and adding them. It, it just enhances the experience so much. When you come across a room you haven't seen before regularly, that's good. Keeps you on your toes. Keeps you on your toes. Of course, we've probably come across a few unbalanced rooms here and there, but I think for the most part, they've done a pretty good job. Right. Got you. Ooh, we got Foul Guts. Um, Foul Guts is pretty good, actually. We get a bunch of Rotten Hearts and um, fill up our hearts with all sorts of good stuff. Right, down we go. We're not, look we're not looking too good on consumables here, but we're doing decently. But yes, uh, it'd be nice to know in the comments how uh, how your guys' Christmas went. Uh, it's always interesting to know how you guys are doing. And yeah, so I gotta say, I I, I, kinda, I kinda kind of got to do two Christmases, because I, I went back and both my, my parents and my girlfriend's parents live um, in the same place, or at least very similar places, because that's where we met. Uh, but anyway, so we, we got to go to my parents for Christmas. What the hell's left? Oh, okay. Um, I got to go to my parents for Christmas uh, on the 25th on actual Christmas Day. Holy shit, that's a lot of flies. Um, and then um, I got to go to... This might, might actually be a bit overpowered. Holy shit. Um, and then I actually got to go to Kate, uh, Katie's parents. Ooh, I'm not taking punching bag. Fortune cookie. I actually think fortune cookie's a little better for us here. Um, so I'm going to take fortune cookie. Uh, but yes... I got to go to her parents as well on the 27th for second Christmas day. We uh, we had a, like, a Christmas day each. These guys need to... I, I might see if I can replace those dudes because they, they seem to be having problems right now. Of course, getting hit at the minute is pretty bad because we do lose our uh, thingy. Burn hearts. The good thing is though, we aren't going to be losing Deal with the Devils until we get rid of both those burn hearts, which is kind of nice because um, both, both rotten hearts and burn hearts give us soul heart protection technically from our deal with the devil so ooh, we got a, a rune there i didn't even see that come nice oh my lord get out of there skedaddle skadoodle um yeah should we should we just take this should we just take this and roll with it this is going to be a, a farty disaster isn't it it kind of worked out i got i got hit once but it kind of worked out. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I think deal with the devil's pretty okay here with our current HP. And my bloody god was it. Holy hell. Okay, so we take that and that. And now we have a homing mum's knife. Oh, we also get wooden cross as well. Sinner's heart's pretty good for us here. Um, I think we're good to go. Well, that was a, that was a very good one. I'm, I'm pretty sure we got... Um, that sinner's heart gives us pretty strong herming, and of course, Mum's knife in repentance with herming is pretty heckin' good. As long as it works. It does... Sinner's heart. I mean, I'm glad for Sinner's heart's damage up, but I really thought it was gonna give us herming. Like, wait a minute, let me just go... Is it J? No, it's not J. Um, what, what have I done here? Um, is it C? Encyclopedia. Inventory. 
grants spectral and piercing. Okay. I, I did think it granted herming. It doesn't. It doesn't. So maybe taking it with Mum's knife was a little bit ill-founded. But we did get plus 2 damage, then times 1.5. So at the end of the day, I can't really complain. It's upped our damage by a significant amount. Put us in a pretty good spot, and now we got Mum's Knife. The only thing I say is Mum's Knife could just be a little bit annoying um, in terms of the fact that sometimes it doesn't synergize too well with certain stuff. We'll see how this goes, though. We shall see how this goes. Uh, another Black Heart there. I will definitely grab that. Our health is pretty low right now. Thank you. But what did everyone get for Christmas? Did you get anything good? Did you get anything good? I mean, I'm sure you got something good. Most people are uh, oh, good to have got something good. But yeah, like, it was, it was really nice to be able to have, like, two separate Christmases because, like, for the most part, they were, they were both pretty much the same. We didn't really do anything um, too wacky. Um, it, was, it was just sort of the regular watch Elf at Christmas. That's, like, my family's tradition. Um, and then uh, have a nice Christmas dinner and then fall asleep because you ate too much. And then watch more TV. <laughs> Pretty much the standard. But my mum is like an incredibly good cook. Um, so Christmas dinner is always an exciting thing. Ooh. This is really good. Not only can we get this, but that's a lot of money to gain from that. Um, a lot of fire rip. But yeah, my mum's like an incredible cook. So Christmas dinner is just like always an exciting time. Because it's just like one of the best meals cooked in one of the best ways and yeah like i know a lot of people out there don't like turkey um obviously turkey is pretty traditional on christmas a lot of people out there don't like turkey um because like, oh, it's too dry or whatnot it's like mm, i'm sorry to say i'm sorry to say but if you think turkey's too dry you ain't never had good turkey <laughs> you have never had a, a turkey that's cooked properly because apparently if you if you go five minutes over if you go five minutes over on a turkey, it's burnt. Like, you're fucked. <laughs> so, I, I do I do feel like... By the way, apparently these... I'm dumb. I didn't notice. You have to have a key to take these. So, that's why it makes the lock sound. I managed to push it over a gap there somehow. Um, but, yeah, that's why it makes the lock sound. You have to have a key to open them. Uh, which is kind of an interesting idea. Better than what I thought it was. I thought they like, opened secret rooms or something. Good, good. Better health. Uh, I don't think we need stem cells here. Uh, let's go. We've got a little note in the bottom left there. I'm guessing that's like the rules or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, we can go. We're a bit a bit lacking on keys and such this run. Like I said, consumables are just not doing too well for us here. Not doing too well for us at all. But yeah, I, I just I feel like a lot of people that say that they ha that they don't like turkey. Like I'm not saying all the time, but I think a lot of the time the case is they've just never had good turkey. <laughs> Because, yeah, like, I have had a good amount of bad turkey in my life. Like, I do agree, it's one of those meats that you have, and if it's done poorly, if it's not cooked right, it's not very good. But, if it is cooked right, my god, is it amazing. Actually, quite, I like, I like, I eat quite a lot of turkey anyways, because obviously turkey's a bit of, bit of a healthier meat anyways. Um, so, I, I do eat a decent amount of turkey, like, outside of Christmas, um, just like with my sandwiches and stuff. I think it's I think it's great. I don't cook with turkey a lot though. That's the thing, like I do ooh, nice Capricorn. I do like cooking quite a lot, but I have to say I don't I don't cook very adventurously. Like I I I mean I, I cook a, a decent variety of things, but I I don't make a lot of like sort of bigger meals like like a sort of Christmas dinner style, like Sunday dinner, Sunday roast. I've never really done that. I've not never really made like pies or anything like that. And I definitely need to try. My mum did get me a recipe book for Christmas that's got a lot of that sort of more traditional stuff in it. So I'm kind of excited to try a few of those out. Um, I think I'll be able to make some good stuff with that. Mainly the sort of foods that I do. I mean, any of you that have listened to me for an extended period of time will probably know this. But I, for one, make a lot of Italian food. Italian food is not only pretty easy, but it's also pretty incredible. <laughs> um, it's one of my favourite food types because it's just like pasta. Great. Cheese, great. And uh, garlic, great. All all the best things combined into into one just lovely meal. And on top of that, it's just 
normally Italian recipes are very simple to make on the table in like 15 minutes tops. Tea is up, nice. On the table in like 15 minutes tops and require very few ingredients, which means that while you do have to be a competent cook to do them right, they they are quite quite simple to do. Um, like there's there's definitely a few different like sort of tricks to make sure to do them right. Like carbonara, for example, I make carbonara a lot, and that is that is a meal that's actually taken me a significant um, amount of time. I actually saw that a scratch card got replaced there by this, and you know what? We'll buy that. Wait, no, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, so that, that that must be just an issue with them spawning out, out of something else. That shouldn't be able to happen, Scratch Card. You cheeky bastard. Um, bombs will drop more often. We'll take that for the next floor. But yeah, um, it's actually taken me a considerable amount of time to manage to get to the point where I'm pretty confident with making a Carbonara. I am actually very confident with making one now, but yeah, like, because... I don't know how many of you have had carbonara before, um, but those of you that have, I don't know how many of you have had, like, real carbonara before, because a lot of people, especially in America, they make it with, um, they make it with cream, and you ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> that ain't right. Um, I, I, like, I went to a, it's like, I don't know really what to call it, it's an Italian restaurant, but they kind of, like, make all the food, like, right in front of you. Uh, which is, is is really interesting. I actually really enjoy going to that place. But um, I got talking to one of the chefs because you get to watch them make it and talk and like the they, they kind of ask you questions as they go through to see if you want less or more of stuff. Um, if you want any ad additions or things removing from the meal, uh, which is is really good. It's it's uh, a very good way of doing it to be honest. But um, yeah, uh, stop telling me to give up. <laughs> I, um, I I was asking them like about um, using cream and carbonara, because I, 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 to be fair, I hadn't really used much cream and carbonara, but I hadn't made much before at that point, you know what, that's whatever. Um, and they didn't use cream, so I was like, okay, why is it that you don't use cream? And was, they was telling me that, like, traditionally they've never used cream, and I didn't know that. Like, it's, it's, um, hey, thank you. It's normally, we'll get that as well, why not? Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, the hell is that red rune? Okay, uh, I think it's a, um, normally... Oh, we need to pop this as well, don't we? Pop in here real quick. Heck, the shop. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, traditionally, it's just eggs and cheese. And a lot, like you may think, um, turns item pedestals into red locusts. Yeah, let's try that out. Um, you may think, well, like, does that work? And it really it really really does it's actually really really enjoyable to uh to do it because it like it kind of makes the creamy sort of sauce itself it's 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 a weird way i, d I don't really know how it works now okay we need a few keys at least so let's grab a few let's re-roll the rest we get a charged key which we can then use to re-roll again and then we get a golden key got a judgment there um I'm going to st stick with this, and I'm going to red rune that into this bad boy. Probably should have, um, probably should have tried to play pay this out guy out first, but oh well. We'll grab that, and we'll see what's what with this dude. <laughs> Cracked key. Ah. We still haven't managed to find a red room yet, but that's, that's fine. We don't need one. Hey, another trinket. We're getting trinkets on the regular here. People underrate heavily the fortune cookie. Very heavily. Yeah, and uh, I gotta say, so, uh, like, you it's kind of hard to get right, because basically you've got to make the, the sauce, which is, like, like egg and, and, like, an egg and cheese mix. Well, apparently these have been changed. I want to see how they work. Magic skin. Okay, they have been changed. They take a lot more health now. Um, I think magic skin's a pretty good grab for us. Magic skin's always fun. We've also upped our damage for this floor by a considerable amount. I realise we did lose a rotten heart in that process, but it's not all bad. I think we're fine. Oh, God. Yeah, like, one of the big sort of mistakes, or the, the easy things to get wrong, is, um, accidentally scrambling the egg. Because you, of course, um... Don't really care about the lighter, to be honest. You of course you put the um 
the the egg and the cheese into the pasta or the pan to sort of cook it into the into the pasta and if the pan is too hot or the pasta is too hot it just cooks the egg and creates this scrambled egg mess which is not it's not terrible tasting but it is not what you intended to cook whatsoever so it's kind of hard to avoid that and it took it took me a good while to sort of learn how to do that so the, the they can they can even with like basic meals they can be quite complex um but at the same time that's kind of another thing i enjoy about um about cooking them because it's it's not as fun to cook something that's super easy and has like no risk associated um where are we looking for secret room here maybe up from here we've got 11 bombs so we can kind of do whatever we like here let's just check everywhere okay <clears throat> Righty ho then. Uh probably up from here, right? Oh no, that's where our thingy door is. Okay. Fortune cookies there. Get out of here. I'm not exactly sure what my D20 uh fly is doing. Probably here, right? Yeah. Okay, so from here we can not only press this and get some pennies, but we can get in here. Which is nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's gonna be a huge damage. Up. Yeah, there you go. I love to see that. Ahaha, <laughs> blur. Get fucked. Right, magic skin. It's your time to shine. We're gonna start using the hell out of you in secret rooms and seeing what we get. First of all, we get flight. Actually, pretty decent. I'm, uh, I'm definitely a sucker for flight. We know we have uh, spare batteries over across the pits in this other room over here, so we can use this a few more times this floor and see what we get. There's one. We're gonna use this. And we'll probably end up using it three times this floor and then calling it quits, to be honest. Seems like a good amount. We'll see, though. We'll see what we end up getting. I'm just gonna save myself some time by bombing this wall. And we get Sackhead. Sackhead's potentially pretty good. Potentially pretty good. Not not the best. We've got two, two of the items, I'd say, at the minute, are pretty, um... They're pretty like standard secret room items, aren't they? They're, they're not they're not the items you look for in the secret room pool, but they're they're never items you're displeased to see in the secret room pool. And then we get flip. When entering a room with an, an item pedestal, a second ghostly item pedestal will show up. Flip the red uh, the, the real and ghostly item both can be taken. Okay, so this is very very good for us. Essentially now we have the ability to get uh, extra items. I don't know if it affects items that we've... I, I don't think it affects items that were already placed down. But yeah, that'll probably be the last time we use Magic Skin. I know it'll show up again in the future, um, which is going to cause problems, I'm sure. But we'll we'll deal with that as, as, we, as we get to it. I didn't actually know that Flip was in the uh, secret room pool, to be honest, which is good to know. Um... I don't know where we're meant to be going, this one. Um, the lamb, okay. And we're meant to be doing boss rush as well, so we'll do boss rush. Here we've got, um, red poops don't hurt eyes. Okay, we've got the Tainted Book of Despair. Increased tears. Uh, the buff will be lost by 1% every second. Fair the use of the book will restore the buff and decrease the percent second loss until it depletes. Increased tier by 80% if the player has Rosary. Unfortunately, that's not very good for us, and I think underneath that is Burn Hurting Juice. Um... So we're gonna. Oh no, it's not. It's Dad's juice. It gives us some luck, so can't complain there. Yeah, not not the best for us really, but hey her. We're gonna absolutely destroy this um, boss rush, anyways. Yeah, unfortunately that book isn't isn't really our shtick. We don't really need that. We're gonna get more charges for it, but that's not really gonna matter. Oh god, I did not see you there, you fast motherfucker. It's okay. Should be fine. Um, oh, hello. We got we got both the speedy boys in one here. There's another rotten heart there, but we actually don't have enough space to pick that up right now. We do, however, have enough space to pick this up. Yeah, so it costs you a key. Obviously, we've got golden keys at the minute, so that doesn't matter to, to us. But I think that's actually a pretty cool version of a heart. And then we get the glitched heart there that are just obscenely overpowered. These are the ones that I was kind of saying that, like, I think the glitched hearts need to be um, addressed. Oh, God. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're fairly common and incredibly strong. I think my flies kind of wrecked this dude. 
Right, we have a little bit of safety over these rocks, but as you just saw, there's a lot of enemies that fly. It's not, it's not really true safety. We need to be a little, a little more careful. Where are you? Where art thou? Oh my god, I hit, do you know, this has got to be the worst part of boss rush. The room's so big and that thing can just escape you. At least we're regenerating our flies back at a decent rate. Nice. I keep forgetting that we have, um, that we have Play-Doh cookie underneath this mum's knife. Honestly, I probably have preferred this room without mum's knife. It's definitely stronger with it, but with Play-Doh cookie, not having it would have been fun. Get Soul Heart out of that guy. Oh, we're done already, and we get a host hat too, which for some reason wasn't a flippable item. I don't know why that is. Must be because we just already used Flip in this room. Any items spawned after that point don't count. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't know how much extra use we're going to end up getting out of Flip, but we'll hope it's at least a little bit. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Let's keep pushing on. I think this is my first time, though, actually having Flip as a regular item after the, um, after the changes to it, after it got added to the pools. Because before, it wasn't even in the pools. You couldn't even get it. Um, and they, they made it an incredibly powerful item. They were just like, hey, it's flip. It lets you get two items. But if, if you have it charged, you get an extra item. That, that, that's just how it is, which is awesome. The, these rocks as well, these need to, these need to be changed. <laughs> like, they're great. They're pretty cool. But holy shit, are they just the most common things in the entire game. They show up like twice a floor, every floor. By the way, I just picked up the uh, the stick, which is going to give us, um, going to give us extra. Yeah, but unfortunately, we didn't get an item there. And for some reason, flip doesn't work. Maybe flip just doesn't work on bosses. Maybe that's how it works. Um, yeah. Um, what the hell am I saying? Oh yeah, we got double damage from the stick. So we're we're gonna be we're gonna be kind of killing everything here. Do you know what? I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Yo. Okay, so we got what seems to be an invisible heart here, which I don't know what that did. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I really have no idea what that did for us there. Ooh, nine lives. So we've probably got a flip item underneath that. Nine lives is an odd one. I don't think we want nine lives here, so let's try and see what we get. Okay, so flip didn't do anything. I I'm... I'm Maybe misunderstanding flip. I thought it was just when you got another item, it gave you an extra one. Is it just the case that it only works on item rooms? Is that what's going on? I thought it just worked on any item pedestal, I'll be honest. But it seems to not be the case. But yeah, we shouldn't... Hopefully we shouldn't get hit for a little while here. Should be able to keep our buffs for a, a little bit. Basically, if I get to keep my buff, I'm going to do hush. If not, I'll say no. What's this? Yeah, what is this invisible heart? What does it do? Let's have a look. Is that just a heart container? Because if so, why the fuck does that exist? What? What's the point in eternal hearts if those exist? Like, come on now. That's just silly. Like, are you serious? Is that is that just straight up what it does? Okay, we're not making hush because... Oh, look. We can get four magic skins. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like, is that, is that seriously what that does? Is that just a heart? What the hell? It's just a heart container that just gives you what the... Right, okay. While we're here, I can show this off a little bit. Right. New rule. Collectibles. Pickups. Hearts. Okay, so... Um... Okay. Problem. Modded hearts aren't here. Um... I thought they would be, because the modded cards are in there, so where the hell would they be? Modded in here, maybe? 
Hmm. No. Whoa. That's a big old brimstone beam. I am not sure where it would be, but I need to get rid of them. That's special. No. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool... It's a pretty cool mod, to be fair, but... Yeah, uh... I don't know. I, I really thought I could just go on alt hearts here and see them, but I can't. S search mode? Glitch? Heart? I'm searching, yeah, I'm searching pickups now, wait. Yeah, because these are the only hearts available to me. Um, heart. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I can replace them now, which is a shame because I really want them gone. <laughs> Well, so there's Rainbow Heart. Yeah, I don't know why the other hearts aren't appearing in here. I'll, I'll look for them another time, but that's... Yeah, that's... Annoying, because they are just... If that if that is what they do... Because it, it didn't seem to have a cost associated at all, did it? It seemed to just give me a heart container with no... With no repercussions whatsoever. Magic skin. Hello again. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of you. I always forget magic skin does that, where it just keeps appearing over and over. But yeah, I gotta say, if, if that re- Oh, for God's sake. If that- Oh, you bastard. I didn't realize there was two of them. We lost that trinket. Goodbye. Judas's kiss. No, thank you. Yeah, it's like- I don't know, that just- What's the point in Eternal Hearts existing? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the... So far, it's the problem I've had with Repentance Plus. I think it's great. It's, a, it's adding a lot of cool additions to the game. I like the new chests. I like the new rocks. I like the new hearts. But they're all just so... Unbelievably strong. Like... So strong. Those bloody rocks are insane, giving you cracked keys. Why the hell do they give you cracked keys? That's so dumb. <laughs> they shouldn't give you cracked keys. They should give you, like, red hearts and the occasional red rune or um, quasar rune, whatever the other one was called. And that's, like, it. <laughs> and they should be rare that it gives you the runes. It doesn't seem rare at all. Um, the, the, the black hearts that just give you damage, like, okay, we're re-rolling. I'm gonna try it out. Um... Yeah, the black hearts that just give you damage. Like... What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> they didn't need to exist. <laughs> <coughs> like, they don't have a downside or anything with them, so they just... It, it just seems over the top. And then they're like... They're like multi-red hearts that are basically just a full heal. Why? <laughs> and the glitched hearts that just give you more hearts. Why? They all seem like interesting ideas, but they're all just too strong. <laughs> oh, hello. Where'd you come from? We are headless now. <laughs> this run definitely seems significantly worse. But at the same time, I was getting bored of my really overpowered mum's knife run. I had to reroll. I need to be very careful, though. I am missing quite a lot of health right now. I have a lot of demon friends on with me. A lot of little demon buddies. Magic skin. Magic skin. Magic skin and magic skin. Yay! Thanks, magic skin. It's what I've always wanted. Nice. This brimstone dude is absolutely popping off for us right now. 
Go get him. Brimstone that bitch. Don't charge them, brimstone them. What are you doing? No! He died. I won't get another one back until I get hit. Which will be never, because I never get hit. How do I get a planetarium item in my reroll? Who knows, but I'm happy about it. Okay, this is kind of a this is kind of a tricky room here. Especially because we don't have flight. There goes that. Where did you go? There you are. Please stop the <laughs> this is really tough. We don't really have the damage to do this. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm realizing how weak we are right now. We are quite weak. What on earth is this room? <clears throat> oh damn, the turrets. Why would the turrets? It's too much, man. It's okay though, we should, we'll have mega, uh, our mega brim ready soon. We'll use that to tear through a few rooms here and there. <clears throat> Okay, good. Just bomb you. Oh, nope. You're just going to avoid that bomb. This is tricky. We are having a hard time right now. There's another one of you that I haven't even hit yet. Why? That's racist. <laughs> yeah, my damage is so, so terrible. <laughs> like, it's manageable, but it's not enough. Especially when this guy keeps popping up his head up and down. Can you, like, just stay in one place so I can shoot you, please? We're doing good damage when he pops his head up, but... It doesn't seem to be often that he does that. There you go. We got him. We got him. Right, let me go back in this room and see what this chest had to offer. Magic skin. How lovely. Might as well take a mum's wig there. Why not? Right, one room off of a charge here. Wow, how was I meant to avoid that? I do apparently have Herming now, which is nice. Oh my god, I did not realise there was still so many enemies alive there. Oh, I don't have Herming. I just, oh, no, no. I do have Herming. I was going to say I have Play-Doh Cookie that's giving me Herming every now and again. That's not the case. I might genuinely die here. I will definitely genuinely die here. This reroll was a colossal mistake. Please, no. Yeah, this reroll was not a good idea at all. God damn it. <clears throat> God damn it. Well, we are one room off the boss. That is true. That does not mean that this is going to be good in any way, shape, or form. Especially if this guy telephrites me. If this guy telephrites me, I'll cry. That was basically a telephrite. Yeah, this is, this is the end, isn't it? I fought so hard, but in the end, full heal. Damn it. Didn't even matter. Okay. I don't really know what to say here. We're just going to have to go for this and try our best. But I have to admit, I don't remember the last time. Yeah. I was just... It spawned the Fallen after I died. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.